Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. I haven't done a full length video in a long time. I don't think since my Mickey's Not So Scary vlog. That's the last time I did one. Um, but yeah, so sorry about that. Life has been crazy, but um, I had this video idea and I wanted to um, do it so this is um, 21 things I learned before turning 21 because I am 20 turning 21 in a couple of days as I'm filming this but I am gonna post it on my birthday so here is 21 things I learned before turning 20. Just put um just editing this as I finish filming that it is not 21. I'm sorry for the clickbait, but 21 might have been a bunch of more appealing numbers, so I did 21, but it's 10. So, yeah, forgive me. Love you. Is you are beautiful. Um, I've struggled with confidence, body confidence, for so many years now. Um, and it wasn't until probably a year and a half ago I truly started feeling like I was pretty that's like trust me I've been struggling ever since I was a little girl and everything from being small to being bigger and everything so it's just like now like I feel like I'm starting to like fully accept who I am like don't get me wrong I have bad days and everything and everyone's beautiful just the way they are it's just when I was through this challenge I was just like oh I wish I was this I wish I was that I don't get me wrong I'll have I'll still have those days like that like everyone will and everything trust me um but it's just like everyone's be like I tell everyone everyone there's beautiful the way they are it's just I haven't felt that about myself and I'm still still learning it but I'm getting on my path that I can say some days when I feel like when I feel glammed up or whatever I feel pretty like I feel beautiful so yeah, that's number one. Next one is you have value. This one is a true one for me because a lot of them, the um, things I learned are around things about myself that I've learned through past friendships and stuff, um, which is you have value for number two. Um, because people, past friends, they would put me down and make me feel like I didn't have value like I didn't, I wasn't worthy of an opinion or anything like that but or worthy of them or whatever like excuse to come up with but like I do have value and people who don't give that same reciprocation and energy and everything they're just not worth my time and value um, my time and my value is not worth it to them and everything so I'm like why should I put my time and effort and energy into them? So, next one is don't tolerate BS. I've had, again, still on the friendship train a little bit, and then other people as well that I've come cross paths with or still have cross paths with and everything. They say this one thing, but I know it's complete BS and everything. And I'm just like, that's not true. Or they do something and then I see them do something else and with another person or whatever this this can go in so many different directions for me personally but I don't want that on the internet like saying was so but that's number three and oh my god number three so don't tolerate BS one is no is not no till it truly is and what I mean by that is I have heard no from people be like, no, I can't do this, no, I can't do that. If you just take the no, you never know what the opportunity could come from it. Because if I, like, in the past, I've said no to things and I missed so many opportunities and everything of doing something or whatever. So if I just say no to it, who knows what could have come out of it? Like, if you fight for what you want, you could get it, possibly. Unless it's truly meant to be no. 
like I said, if it's truly meant to be no, then it's no. But if there's hesitation or you don't know, fight for it. Like, don't take no for an answer. One I have is take care of yourself. This, pa these past few, few years, but I haven't really, like, started taking my, this past couple, actually, no, past two years, I really started taking care of myself. Not, like, physically, like, more mentally than physically. Physically, I have to work on, but mentally, I've been taking care of myself because I used to be so in the house like not doing anything and then this past two years now i've been going to places doing things which i will get to in number eight but um but now i'm doing stuff that will make me happy i'm taking care of not only my body but my mind and my heart and doing things that make me happy so i'm taking care of myself in that way and it's my form of self-care which but i am doing self-care as well i was thinking about posting a skincare routine even um like my skin is different from everyone else's skin but i thought I'd post one so let me go if you guys want one i cannot stand i cannot uh, say this one enough true friends will show themselves like i have gone through several different groups people wise friendships and everything and i think i finally found my group or my knit close friends like i can think of a few on the top of my head and i love and adore them so much and like i have two that came into my life this year who are two of my closest friends now and like one is my absolute best friend if you probably know who I'm talking about and everything, but um, I love all of them so much, and they know. <coughs> Excuse me, that was a cough there. They know. <coughs> Jesus, they know a lot of the stuff I've been through, and they're still there supporting me and like. Because I, with all the stuff I've been through, I need that reassurance. One of the biggest things in a friendship with me is I need reassurance because I didn't get that before and I thought things were fine and dandy with my past friendships and then they weren't. So I'm like, please reassure you like me still. So, um, but yeah, so true friendships will show themselves and they will put in that effort and communication that you need as a friend. So, yeah. I know it's hard finding true friends, but I promise, like, if you're over here struggling trying to find true friends right now, you will. It it took me time, but you will find them. I didn't realize this, I was mid-editing, but I skipped one. Um, but number seven is things are going to happen the way they're meant to happen, basically. Or things are supposed to happen the way they're supposed to happen. Um... I learned this and everything like sometimes I see things that I want to do and I'm not able to do them where it just doesn't work out or whatever and I'm just like Ugh, I wish that happened or why can't this happen the way I want it to happen or whatever the universe is in control and you just have to do like and things will work out the way they're supposed to work out if I'm saying that correctly they're supposed to work out the way they're supposed to work out and like Bigger, bigger and better things are coming from missed opportunities or missed things or whatever. Like, yes, that's what opportunity is something, but something better will come from it. It may not be the next day or whatever, but something good will come from waiting or whatever. Because good things take time. I've learned that and everything. So, yeah. Things will happen the way they're meant to happen. Um, I was going on about this in number five, but have fun and adventure. Um... Basically, I was saying, like, I I was cooped up in the house. I wasn't doing anything, but now I am. I'm going to places, doing different things, and I'm so happy about it. Like, I've gone, do, done, gone and done stuff that I haven't done before, you know, and it's just, like, I could tell it's just so much better for me than being cooped up in the house, and it's just, it, it's made my mental health so much better doing things because I was so, cr I'm, like, 
trapped in the house in a sense. So I'm glad I have that. Nine and ten are gonna correlate a little bit, which is life is a roller coaster, and I got this. These past few years have truly been some of the funnest, toughest years of my life. They've been um, so hard in different, so many different ways, and so mentally challenging and it's it was it's tough i mean don't get me wrong like i'm having all these little good experiences but there's still stuff going on behind the scenes i feel like that's with everyone there's still stuff going on behind the scenes um but i mean we're all managing and with this new year turning 21 um hopefully gonna have some stuff figured out and things will become a bit easier on me and everything so i'm just hopeful st trying to stay hopeful at least and have to remind myself i got this and i have the support i need from my friends and everything especially those true friends because those true friends really count when they matter so um but yeah i just gotta remind myself it it's not going to be an easy ride. I'm not going to get there in one straight ride. It's going to be a bumpy road, but I will got the, I got this, and I'll eventually get there. But, yeah. You, life is, I, I told my, um, told one of my friends this. I was like, life is a roller coaster. You, it, I don't remember the exact quote. I probably have to, like, find the text. I have to find the text.